Hey, what's up guys, Reese here. Welcome to another video. This is Iron Man Progress, episode 200. Big old 200. Thanks for hanging around a lot, guys. This is... I don't know, man. I don't know if it's going to be special, but we're going to start off with a bit of Aviancy's, a bit of uh, Criara, actually. Now, what I've done to my ability bars, in the last video I asked about ability bars, because you guys always roast me for them, but then I don't offer a lot... That doesn't get offered a lot of, like, criticism. It's just more like, that is shit, and then I ask, what are they? And then... No response, but in the last video, you guys, you guys actually helped me. I got sent a picture or a little video or whatever of some good ability bars for range and mage. So I've copied them for revolution plus 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 as best I can because uh, range I only had to miss Tusker's Wrath. So that is ability bar is exactly what they said minus Tusker's Wrath because I don't have it. The mage bar is missing the mage corruption shot or whatever, whatever that one is, like the yeah the mage version of that. That's the only ability I'm missing from that, I think. So that's pretty close as well. So now if you guys say that's still shit, I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah. So we've got Revolution++ plus plus with all the revolutions there. It might be better once we get into the actual boss. But this is what I complained about in the video about Revolution. Is that if it's automatically using my thresholds and everything, it's fucking never going to get its way to death swiftness. I'm never going to get 100% adrenaline or whatever, am I? Hey, I got a Godsword Shard 2 from a minion. But yeah, so far, maybe I'm confused, maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know, but still not breaking that adrenaline, you know. I if I am I misunderstanding something? Am I, is it not like will these ability bars I got sent with pictures and stuff that had the death swiftness and the death swiftness, the death swiftness and the sunshine at the start? Are they like a cock tease? Are they never going to activate? Are they not meant to activate? I don't get it. This start fight at this fight started about fifty percent adrenaline, so we might be able to get it. But no, just kidding. Another adrenaline shot's about to go off. Yep. Awesome, here we go. We're getting there, boys. Totally. So, yeah, I don't see how this is better than anything. Like, surely I'm going to do way better DPS if I wasn't using this. Um, so, yeah, there we go, 100% adrenaline. And now I've used it as the minions. <coughs> Loving this. Thanks, guys. Appreciate the tips. Um, get back to roasting me, because you're always helping. Love you guys. Obviously, you guys can tell me in the comments because you probably have already. But for now, because I'm maybe I'm missing something, like I said, I'm going to reduce my adrenaline bar size or my revolution bar, chuck my thresholds in that, back outside that. Oh, now I have to move everything back down. And then, I don't know, maybe the little newbie abilities are in like a better location at least. Maybe they are increasing my DPS. But they, uh, yeah, everything else, I don't see the, the upside at all. <laughs> hey, I don't believe it. Armadillo gloves. Um, which is, I don't believe it because that's the, like, the last piece of armadillo I don't have. If you look here, I've got Ascension Grips, which are much better than armadillo gloves, but I don't use them on Slayer and stuff because, you know, that would be silly. Um, there we go. I can now use armadillo gloves. I got a, f a, a full God Wars Dungeon 1 set. Fucking chat. Awesome. Congrats, Dad. GZ. FAG. That's a bad one. A G Z A contact mate, GZ! Shout out to the boys from Boozy! New shitty record, 29 seconds. We're getting quite lucky here, actually. Armadillo gloves, uh, effigy, clue scroll, and a godsword shard. Can't complain. Alright, I'll take these bloody Gano noobs. Give me that. We will do the clue and stuff in between, because... I don't know, it's only one task, but I'm bloody worn out. It's hot here. It's real hot. Doing some daily stuff, but it's double XP weekend right now as I record this. And oh my god, there's people everywhere. Guys, watch this. Take notes. Vindictor and Gorvec task. Only have to kill, like... I can't remember how much, but I'm just going to get Dragon Rider Lance without a doubt, 100%. I hope I fucking get it. That'd be hilarious. Okay. Alright guys, it's been some time since I've been here, as you guys may recall. I'm getting absolutely fucked now. I was going to soul split it, but I think that's too bad. I'm not... I don't remember any mechanics. I'm not moving. So yeah, I think, if I remember, it's like you got to pray melee, dodge the flames, when he runs Ray, pray range. I think that was it. And then like he can resonance his big old hit in his second form. And you got to get out of that, and you got to not lag like a fucking idiot. So yeah, um, wish us luck, I guess. Memory does like a range mage, uh, like a range, and then a melee hit, and all this kind of shit. Fucking hell! Ah, right, this brings back the days grinding this big fuckhead for fucking dragon bones, just for some dragon bones to get some prayer levels. So that then he hits like that, yeah, yeah, and then he hit range again. Oh no, he'll run. Oh god, I don't remember any of this. Oh, and then he charges, and he's meleeing, and then because he meleeed, he'll go for a range hit now. Yep, and then I put back onto the melee. So you meant to, what you used to do is you bring a shield and you take off your range prey and your resonance, that big range hit. This is fucking AIDS though. I've taken so, I'm using so much food here, what the fuck? <laughs> and a 
single piece of Zeros? That's not like a... That's not what I think it is, is it? It's just a newbie thing. Yeah, no, okay. I thought that was something good for a second. I was freaking out. Alright, so that's just a... Uh, I don't think that's anything, really. I can't really remember. But yeah, I don't think... Oh, no, it's for Telos. It's like the frozen key. I forgot about that. Alright. Cool. So shit, I just realized before, at one point I used my sign of life, so I actually straight up died. That's incredible. There we go, a bit of a warm up, another personal best. And, uh, no fucking... Where's my thing? I, I said it was a guaranteed... That's pretty good though, I didn't even... 500 colon 35 black dehyde? That's lit fam. Hey, uh, another personal record, I got some sort of achievement. Vindictive and Vexious 5. Um, yep. Three more souls to reap though. Another 31 dragon hides. Buddy, buddy, believe it's another personal record. <laughs> Rune or noted and rune or unnoted from my fucking looting perk. Which is like the worst perk ever, man. They're not even noted. It's so shit. Oh, is that a new personal record? Or <laughs> This is like getting a joke. Like, every single kill has been a new personal record. I guess it proves I'm progressing. And that's really good resource drops. Oh, hey, look at that. Have to teleport though, though. Probably, probably could do another kill, but just safer to teleport. Anyway, though, look, 31 Black Dragon, 12 Rune or 600 Coal. I know you guys probably giggling, mate. Three kills in one inventory with this fucking whole gear. But I'm not resonant thing, and you guys know I'm a complete fucking PVM god, so you better back the fuck off, cunt. You better believe it, the last fucking kill is a record <laughs> at two minutes. There we go. Give me that fucking diamond. See you later. Hashtag dab. Got this, I just dabbed, by the way. Um, 17k Slayer, 18 Reaper points. That seems like a lot. 18 Reaper points. Is that because I did like a Reaper task that's actually like not just fucking for Cow's Elemental? Yeah, I can see myself get back into the groove without resonance. That kill was three food. So yeah. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was the loot. But uh, if this was a normal account, I wouldn't re-roll it because two mils a lot. But it's only, what is it? Puzzle skipping ticket. I've never used a single skipping ticket in my life. That's four though. That's a lot. But like I say, other than that, it's not really anything. So let's re-roll it. We shouldn't have fucking re-rolled it. Actually, you compo is better in the long run because that old uh, bloody... I mean, I would show you if I could disassemble it. Actually, I can disassemble it, but I won't get the components yet because I don't have like 100 odd uh, inventions. So don't do that yet. Bad idea. But yeah, fortunate components or whatever is what those are going to give me in the long run. Yes, finally. The fucking loot. Look at this fucking cheats, boys. This is going to be good. This one was really annoying. I had like... um. What was it? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I think I went too much. But I had, uh, like, s fucking five scans or something. It was ridiculous. What am I missing? Uh, all right, here we go. Loot for the elite clue is... Zero, one. Pretty good. Actually, that's interesting. That's not bad. The 40k cash, that's a bit weird. Um, but Onyx Bolt Tips, a bit of Alex and that later on. And you and Palm Tree Seed. So, eh. Bit of farming XP in there as well. Why not? You don't have enough air runes to even double your fucking summoning task. And by air runes, I mean uh, air talismans. So we'll just do with that. Um, there's a lot of people. I can never find this, as you guys know, anyway. But let's see what you get for a normal Ice Titans task, not doubled. You get 21k summoning XP. What do you get in the bag, boys? One Grahak <laughs> for sick, bro. Should we also have a. I think this is how this works. This is level 12 now, this weapon. Ooh. Oh, because it's high level. Um. Yeah, so 621k XP. Watch me somehow destroy my fucking Nox bow, right? There we go. 621k XP. Didn't even get a level. What an absolute fucking scam. I think some of my other augment... Let's just search all my augmented gear real quick. Let's see. That is at... 7. 7. 7. 11. Ooh. I kind of want to just destroy that. But no. 11. Alright. So you can almost uh, turn this augmented plate body into into some cash XP boys. Should probably augment my plate legs. But I'm not I'm not too worried about summoning because like especially as an Iron Man, like I mean not uh summoning invention like it's just gonna happen eventually. Like if I just keep all my gear augmented, siphon slash destroy it, you know, when it comes, it'll eventually max out. I don't need to like, actually grind it out. It's just almost like a passive skill. So I don't know. I feel like I don't need to really get all these energies and like fucking smash everything. Like it doesn't seem too worth it. Also I just remembered let's go get that cash or put some more longbows into the bloody Alka. Right, put some more nature's fires and my things. Oh, that uses so much fucking fires. I'll leave that and I'm not going to put any more Alks in it. I'll just take the next bit of cash that comes out. Because I don't fuck it. I'm going to run out of fire runes. Can I chuck one fire staff in there, please? Like, this is the only fire runes I actually have left. I'm going to have to start, like, runecrafting them or something. 
I don't know where they go. I guess it's from Alkin because the rest of my runes, like I try to every now and then, I go buy like the from the shop. That was my Facebook, by the way. But look, 80k Earth, 60k Waters, 160k Airs, uh, for as far as Elemental, and then fucking 15k Fires. Oh no. That should be task complete. There we go. 344 Slayer tasks, 20 points, 134 Rollup Stars. Uh, good drops, Calquot, sorry, not Calquot, Palm Seed, Papaya, Snapdragons, 1.4k Gano Flakes, 14 Noted Ranars. That is about it for the important drops there. Please! Guess what's just happened? The uh, Clue Scroll update's out, which means let's go fucking pump out some Slayer, get some Clue Scrolls, and hopefully we get some new Masters and some new Loots and some new Dyes and stuff like that. You can get stackable tar caskets now which is sick so i can do like a loot from 100 clues which i won't do someone else will though it'll be sick um i might do like loot from like 10 clues but i think you can all i know there's stackable caskets but i'm not 100 sure if there's stackable clue scrolls but if there is that's so good because normally you might especially high level slayer like every monster you get like a clue scroll per task but you don't leave and do it right so you just do it and you get one but if you can stack them you might get like five clues in one fucking task if you're lucky but I'm not sure if they stack. I know, like, the, the, the caskets do, but we'll find out about the clues, because that would be absolutely sick. Black demons, I'll take them to skip them, because they're not... They, I, I don't know, maybe they updated the loot. I haven't done them in ages, but they drop, like, fucking grapes and, like, black offhand swords and weird shit like that. Gargoyles, they definitely drop clue scrolls and a lot of bars and stuff. Let's go smash one of them out. And the boys are informing me about the new update, though, because there's a new clue scroll tier, which is master tier, which is above elite, elite um, which has new, like, things. One of them is a Berserker Ring requirement, so it would be like a a close... Wait, does that mean you can just use a costume skipping ticket, though? You might be able to. That might actually come in handy. I've only got two of them? What? 12 knot, 17 puzzle, one costume. But maybe we'll have to use that. But yeah, we've got B-Ring, Ancient Stuff. I don't have an Ancient Stuff, but I think I can get one. I'm not sure, but apparently they're fucked. Like, someone just asked me to log onto my main and give me an Ancient Stuff. Like, what are they selling for on the GE? Fuck knows. Um, Zerk Ring, Fire Cape. I don't have a Fire Cape. I'm gonna have to go do Jad, like, I've got an upgraded Fire Cape. Silent Surgeon Ring, um, I have one of the rings, I'm not sure it was a really good one. I have to go get it back anyway. Demon Slayer Gloves, don't have them. Interesting. I'm gonna ramble, it's actually important stuff. Apparently there's a shop of, as well, south of the GE. I'm not sure what GE it is, probably the Varric one. We're like a clue scroll shop where you can buy costume, eh, skipping tickets and stuff like that. So we're gonna have a look at that real quick, see what's in there. Maybe it's Thala? I don't know. I can't imagine what it would be. Who knows? Maybe it's just a straight money sink and it's just fucking cash. <laughs> it's like, yeah, f 10 mil for a costume stick uh, skipping ticket, you fucking cuck. <laughs> imagine this is it. This looks pretty new. Oh, hidey hole locations. Oh, yeah, there's all those. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, no, you get straight up points for treasure trails. That's cool. Huh. Boots, uh, provide you one charge, you charge. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into this Globetrotter stuff. So you have points, and I've got points already because I've done like 100 hards, that kind of thing. Cool, can you buy clue scrolls then? I, well, that's how clues look, I guess. I can start a new treasure. I can straight up buy a, a one, that's cool. I can buy like 8 elites right now if I wanted to. I won't do that though. You can buy reroll tokens, cool. And you can buy costume skip. Oh, only 30 points for a treasure, for a sk skipping ticket, that's cool. I'll only use them on the elites um, when, I really can't, when I really have to, that's good. Because um, I don't see anything else I would want to buy besides clue scrolls and... Possibly re-rolls or the Globetrotter outfit, but I have to look into that. What that actually does, I got straight up by this Ignomaticologist title thing. That's pretty cool. Clue dog is that an actual pet? Oh, that's cool. This is cool, man. I love the Clue Scroll updates. It was really I was like jealous when they did it on Old School Runescape, mainly because my Old School Runescape main's like too low level and couldn't fucking do it properly anyway. But that's sick. Oh, you got him bloody done it, lads. Here comes the sealed Clue Scroll hard. I think that's the part that makes it like. Um, stackable, like, I think if you open it, then I, well, I guess you can have multiple open, but, like, yeah, something weird like that, but that's cool, um, I guess we don't open it until we want to actually do it, um, now, the reason this is cool is because I can confirm now, I'm not sure if I did it on video, but this guy I was talking to here, click for info, my good old friend here, um, he was telling me that he just did a gargoyle task for and got six hard clue scrolls, or six clue scrolls, so, yeah, you, they definitely stack now, which is fucking lit, boys. But I'm halfway through this task and I've gotten one. But one at least. Hopefully a few more. But that's what I'm saying. Like, especially on a big high level task or like some PVM or something like that. There's possibility that you could pull pull like fucking 10 hard clue scrolls from one task. That just seems ridiculous. Like it seems almost OP. Maybe they're going to cap it a bit. Like, yeah, you can take clue scrolls but only 10. 
or something. They might change it because I don't know if it's OP or like ruins the economy or anything. But it does seem like it's definitely going to bring in more clue scrolls quicker because people like can just do them and then smash them out instead of having to like, like if I want to do this, I'd have to leave now, do it, come back to my side task, get another one, do it. And it was just like longer, but now I can just like finish the side task, get like five and then do them all in a row. Which I don't know if that will really ruin the economy and price of some of the items. But I'm an Iron Man, so what the fuck do I care? I've just been crashed by a fucking Killman387 with his fucking head for a box and his damn wings. What a legend, mate. What type of actual fucking scam is this, boys? We killed the whole like 200 odd that we had. One clue scroll. Give me my rune full helm before I misclick my life. Whatever, boys. Um, sweet, yeah, totally loved all that. I didn't want like heaps of clue scrolls from that task anyway, so that's that's fine. Very happy with that. You got to be fucking joking me, boys. Another task complete. Well, it's almost complete unless I get dropped in the next two kills, which is via watch task. I'm not actually sure how much clues they drop, but I assume they drop clues. I can't remember everything. I just assume every slam monster drops clues these days. But one more to kill, and we haven't had a single drop, let alone five of them. So yeah, where's our bloody clue scrolls, boys? We're getting scammed over here. And I guess you can get clue scrolls off task, of course, still. So maybe we'll end this task, and the, the other two I'm currently on will drop one. But there's 346 tasks in a row. No clue scroll. I want to make sure, I just want to get, like, more than one. I just want to do more than one in a row, so I want to open a few multiple caskets in this video. Um, that's all That's all that kind of the goal is at the moment. I might eventually do, like, a grind and, like, keep them. But, yeah, maybe just, like, every video I just collect a bunch and do them at the end or something like that. But there we go. Um, nothing too special. One torso seed. Average herbs and all that. Um, sweep, some runes. But no fucking clue scroll. This hasn't happened in so long. I'm just getting shit tasks over and over again. Look at this in the chat log. I've gone from 961 to eight, 780 Slayer points. Come on. Back to gargoyles. Fine, whatever. I'll just take them for safety. That is fucked. Boys. Alright, that is this task complete. Which we got more lucky this time. Um, or luckier is maybe a better word. Um, and we got three clue scroll caskets, which is, um, not ca caskets, I wish it was caskets. Three clue scroll, scroll things. I think we'll maybe do one more task, depends on what we get. Because I want to open, I want to do at least five at once and open that for the, uh, end of the video here. But that's three from that. I was starting to think it was bugged and it, maybe we had it wrong and maybe you have to open them before you can get more or something weird. But no, then I just got three in that task. So yeah, I just was unlucky before, I guess. But lovely. Hey, there we go. Um, I got Ganoid Creatures. So they should... I don't know what their clue scroll drop rate is, but... Can't be too bad. Alright, this task complete. No clue scroll drops. Dunno, maybe they don't drop them. Maybe I didn't get lucky. Who knows. Um, I know there are some like weird monsters in this game that's like... Oh, they're just not on the drop table for whatever reason. This might be one of them. Or just sheer unluckiness. Don't know what that screaming is. Um, almost level 10 in all these weapons and clothes here. But yeah... Good uh, thing, regardless, because 2.5k Gano Flakes, 2k, uh, 2k use, yeah. 2 use, 1 Lentidine, 1 Torstall, 1 Snappy, Papaya, some herbs and stuff. Yeah, not bad, boys. I actually want to fucking kill myself. Like, I might just go and just absolutely neck myself. Fucking 1 Gano Beast left, I didn't even realise. <laughs> be right. Also, I think I heard that it's, um, you can only have 25 clue scroll box things. Like, you can have, I think you have as much caskets as you want. But you can only have 25 of the scrolls at once, so yeah. Um, I guess I was saying something about like people just like camping it and then smashing them all out and it might like, ruin the prices. But yeah, if you can only have 25 at once. I know, but then you can still just do a bunch and then open a bunch of castles. That's not going to ruin. Uh, yeah, fair. That's enough for me. I'm, I'm not going to probably ever have more than 25 at once. But that is the thing though. If you just did like a real long like 12 hour day of Slayer, you could get 25 in one day, I reckon. Like if you're getting like the person I was talking about before, Lucky, you got like six tasks, uh, six things and just one gargoyle task. You could get 25 in one day, which is pretty ridiculous. Yes, boys, a sealed clue scroll already. Good shit. Hey, a better bit of me. So we did that, which was quite good. Make sure we did finish the task. We got four clue scrolls. Now I feel like I have to do at least 10. At least. Like, how much do we have now? Like, hey, yeah, we have to do at least 10 now. We can't stop. Like, if it was five, we'd been fine, but... Oh, it's easy to collect them, but it's going to be AIDS when I have to do 10 clue scrolls in a row. <laughs> The hidey holes, that should really help out. I wonder if they're... I'm not sure about them. If you guys know, it's like you put your items in there, blah, blah, blah. And then you don't have to, like, keep them in your bank, which could save up some bank space. But the thing is, on RS3, I don't know how it works. On old school, you have to make them with construction levels and stuff like that. I think maybe RS3 might be a bit easier. It might just be sitting there and you just chuck it in the hole, hopefully. That sounds a bit silly, but, you know, I would rather it be that. 
because I don't want to go bring planks and stuff just to make something. It just seems like added stress, I guess. Easy escape. <laughs> but it's like, is it more rewarding putting a bit of planks in there before you fucking put your thing? Probably not. Um, but maybe, you know, construction level for high level things. I don't know. I've got fucking 90 construction anyway, so I'm sure I'm fine. Looking like an absolute noob. But these Gano things, after the last task, they are like 30 XP off. So I was like, I just quickly bring these, get them to level 10, and then we can destroy our first Gano. And then, see, look at that. Level 10, level 10. Chuck that back off. That was really quick. Boom, can destroy that after the task, followed with a Sun Spear, and we should have another invention level or two, actually. Quite nice. I'm probably going to get like fucking 12 clue scrolls off this task, man. 270 Dark Beasts. That'd be hilarious. All right, you know how I was talking about there's monsters that are weird and you think you'll have a hard clue, but they don't or whatever? It turns out, well, at least I Googled it. And, uh, Dark Beasts don't drop fucking Clue Scrolls. And then they dropped the Red Drop table, of course. I went to that, and Clue Scrolls aren't even on the Red Drop table. Meaning you can only get them from monsters that actually drop Clue Scrolls. And I don't know why Dark Beasts wouldn't drop Clue Scrolls, especially when they had their... I mean, it's like two years ago, but they had their loots updated. I guess they just want certain monsters to drop Clues. Like, the, like these are some of the best Slayer monsters in the game. So it's like, better not make them drop Clues, they'll be even better. But that just really fucking rustles my jimmies. <laughs> Considering I've just like done this task for clues and it was like 270 dark beasts and I can't bother skipping it now. But yeah, great, sick, lovely. Oh, 220 mil uh, HP XP. Alright, sweet. There we go, boys! That's uh, 350 tasks in a row and 300 points. Nothing too special, just the noted uh, bars and stuff. Well, not bars, ores, all that good stuff. A lot of outs, almost at 10 mil. Who this? Oh, who's this? Giving 200 mil to look up on... Poor guy's been fucking hacked. Um, so, because he's been hacked, I'll just ignore him instead of reporting him getting him banned, because hopefully he gets his account back. I don't want him banned before he gets his account back. Or he's just a cunt, one or two. Um, disassemble this. Yes, 87. Still 87. Good XP, though. And that should maybe 88, or is it still 87? 88. Nice. 800k to the next level. Lovely. And let's picky thisy. What does that give us? Farming? Oh, farming, yeah. Sweet. Bit of farming. Any of the other ones done anything? No. So I think we just have to buy a new thing. Open shop. Give me one of these. Thanks very much. Take the water vial packs while I'm at it and that. Um, plant this one. Let's see what we get this time. Harmony pillar. And we have a ding, ding, ding. Uh, I don't know what that said, but yes. Summoning. Good will be easy to do, but also I don't plan on doing summoning anytime soon, though. I'm pumping out all the clues or anything or opening them just yet, but I just got home from work and I got to be up at really early in the morning, so I thought I'd just quickly do one before I go to bed. But it's 130 of hard clues, probably, and eight treasure trail points. You have 852. I heard about that and I wondered, how does that work? Why do I only have 800 odd? And that is because they only started tracking them in October or something like that, apparently. Or November. Some shit like that. Which sounds ridiculous to me because we have a fucking quick chat system. I can go like this, right? Clue. Not that. Poor showing. Hard. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hard. There we go. Trace trails. There. 130 hard treasure trails, right? I'm not going to pretend like I know how the, the RuneScape code works. Fucking sounds like Jagex doesn't know how it works. But I think it's like, I don't know. There is a, there is a way that our character knows how much clues we've done for the last like three years at least or something like that when that started tracking. So why could they not just read that I have 130 clues, give me eight points for every clue instead of being like, oh, we'll start tracking them now. Why couldn't they backtrack it due to the day of release and then just give everyone a mount based off how much quick chat clues they've done? It makes no sense to me. I can quick chat all the clues and it can be like pretty accurate, especially that was out before I made this account. So that'd be 100% accurate of how much clues I've done and give me points r relative to that. Like what the fuck? How is that not, was that not the thing? That's what annoys me about Jax, where they, they get something like, oh, the code won't work it. And then they don't find a way to fix it. They're just like, oh, the code shit. Done. <laughs> Alright, well that was too that would be too hard to do. Done. Let's not bother. Like that's what really annoys me sometimes with Jagex. Anyway, hard clue casket. I was wondering there's some things that are automatically open, like you end and it opens on the clue scroll. Like open. I don't think that happens anymore, hopefully not. Anyway, I could just be roasting Jagex for no reason. But from my perspective, which is a 
non-technical perspective, it just seems weird that I've got the amount I've done, but then they can't give me the accurate amount of points because they weren't tracking before then, even though they can check how much I've done. I don't know. Obviously, it is really hard, but I don't know. It seems like it would be awesome and worth it to do that bit of extra work, guys. Unless it's literally impossible, which I don't know. Who knows? Fun! Love you guys. Uh, sorry, I'll stop complaining. Clue scroll update. I'm loving it. Look at these cheeky new puzzles. Alt 1, as I record this, of course, you guys might be like days away from you guys, but Alt 1 has been updated now, so it's got all the new puzzles, and I think it's got all the new Master Clue answers as well. So fucking piss easy, boys. No worries. Ah, uh, this Zami wizard looks different. Look at your bad boy. Also, yeah, Yuri and everything's been updated. I've been also been... Oh, he died. He teleported away instead of dying. Yeah, I've been doing a few things like, ah, you gotta dig again. Um, I've been doing some of the hidey holes and stuff like that. So yeah, been getting some of the stuff done. I've got like five banked at the moment, just clearing some of these out. This should be the last step for this one. Lovely. I haven't recorded it yet, but the hidey holes are just like old school where it's like you need some steel nails and some teak planks or whatever. Hidey hole thing's good because it's getting rid of a few items that I generally actually only had like a few of or like one of. Like some, a lot of the items like it was like a room four helm, I have like 20 of them just from Slayer and random stuff like that. But like this, for instance, uh, Elemental Shield and Rune of Warhammer, I'm probably only going to have one of those each. Rune Warhammer, I remember doing the grind for that. It was like really hard, unless I've since gotten one from something else. It wasn't really hard, but we had to kill like some of those troll generals or something like that inside of that one quest area in Trollheim or something like that. And yeah, so I've probably only got one of those Elemental Shield. I imagine I just got one from after a quest, but then they'll be gone away now and won't be in the bank, which is good. Because with this new thing, I think there's like a hundred new clue items or something silly like that, so I need more fucking bank space anyway. Alright, so I'll show you guys just in case you weren't aware. Um, so you need uh, your inventory like free, or if you want to get rid of them. So let me make sure I've got enough room here. So we got our three items, which are Blue Drain Hard Chaps, Room Wall Hammer, and Elemental Shield. The hidey hole for this one is probably this. Convert to hidey hole, which uses some steel nails, and I think three T clogs, bit of construction XP. Can't be 100% sure on the level, not sure, but there we go. Chuck it into that, they're in there, and then I want them back out. The next time I come here, boom, just like that. They're coming in and out, we can't see that in the inventory. And yeah, don't need to collect them from the bank anymore. It doesn't say it here, but when I did the first ones, it was, I think it said, one out of 58 hidey holes filled. So yeah, um, I've probably done like five or six now. And I'm scared I'm running out of items. I just put my fire battle staff in the Jockles tent, and I only had one fire battle staff. So if I need a fire battle stuff for another another clue bit. <laughs> oh. Cunt coach! Where the fuck are you? Wait, I see him actually. This is where you don't want to fuck stuff up. Apparently, last time I went here I did this and then I left and I didn't fucking put the shit back in. <laughs> Guys, we're getting to the good bits, to the, almost to the finale of the video. We got 10 mil in the coin pouch now from Aux, which is awesome. This is the I'm not sure if I recorded the last one, but we just had two gargoyle tasks in a row, and we have we did the eight clue scrolls, we got eight caskets sitting in the bank, and we got two more clues now, I think. So yeah, we're going to have at least eight, um, ten clues to open at the end of the video, which I just realised I'm probably going to get a master clue as well, but I think I might save that to try to do it in the next video, even though like, I'll probably like make it like me opening it at the start of the next video, and then it'll probably just be like, I can't fucking do it and have to drop it immediately anyway, because it'd be like some quest requirement or something weird, but like a really hard quest. But we'll see. But yeah, we're going to have at least 10 clue scroll caskets open real soon, so get excited for that. Alright, we got enough clue scrolls. I, wait, I think I said that already, actually. Um, But, we're about to finish this task, 3 kills left, and I should be able to get my mage level either on this one or the next one. So we should be okay. Maybe the next one. I really hope I get the mage level before this task ends. Come on. One more. The, will I get the mage level on the very last gargoyle? Because that's pretty fucking special. Yes! That is fucking wild, what the hell? 103 magic on the very far last Gargoyle. I calculated that perfectly. I've also I've been doing so much Slayer in this video and Gargoyle tasks and stuff. I did empty my gem bag, but it's fucking full again. Like, that's what we're doing here, boys. Like, that's pretty sick, actually. Let's see, what have we got? Inspect. There's 60 emeralds, 40 rubies, 0 diamonds, 0 dragonstones. Oh, so it's full of emeralds and rubies, apparently. That's fine, though. Yeah, two clue scrolls, go do them. This is two uh, gargoyle tasks in a row, pretty much. Um, but yeah, all these loots, lovely. Good stuff. Let's go do this clue! Guys, this is what we've been waiting for. We have ten hard clues here. Let's go. First one. Mm, no new items. Hopefully we can get everything in one inventory, not sure. Second one. No new items. Different teleport, though. Third one. 
No new items, but two fucking things. I have to keep them. I've got a re-roll. Wait, can you have multiple re-rolls? Oh, you can have five re-rolls. That's great. Good, because perfectly normally I'd like to feel like I have to re-roll, but that's two, so that's two fortunate components. Keep both of them. Zamorak, a coif, and a Guthix plate body. Uh, room plate legs H2. Gonna keep them. Another fortunate component. Reroll this, because nothing good in there. I really love that you can stack up the rerolls. Two combos out of that. That's sick. Um, this one is... Ooh, nothing too good. We can reroll though. Into a Master Clue Scroll, boys. Yes. And some normal room plate legs. Awesome. So we're going to quickly bank all this. That's the first inventory. That is sick. It's so cool opening them all at once. Um, get those back. Both of those, I didn't have either of them. That's sick. Open another clue here. Nothing too good. Open another clue. Garthic's Helm. Awesome. I guess you can get multiple Master Clues as well, actually. Hey. Oh, Armadillo page one. Well, one page of Armadillo page three. Nice. And a compo. Fucking sick. Two point something mil, apparently. Reroll this one. The last one. So it's almost like we re-rolled re -rolled three, so it's like opening th 13 clue scrolls, really. Let's see what we get. This last one. Oh, I thought that was two. So one rune shield H. I got, as long as the rune shields and stuff like disassemble into fortune components, but I'm not sure if they do. I'm not sure if you can see the loot if you can't actually disassemble it yet, because I can't get fortune components. Yeah, no, it does. So yeah, I just, just got a bunch of stuff like that. Look at this. Even new teleports. Oh, lighthouse teleport. That's a new one. Sick. So our clue scroll thing is looking like this now. No new items. Well, I guess this teleport scroll must be new. Um, but that's the only new one. Then we have new Guthix helm, which is new. I mean, like, no new items to me, I don't think. Like, new clue scroll items, like some new bandana or anything like that. We didn't get anything like that. Where do we put this coif? Coif's are here, apparently. And this plate body can go next to the Sara one. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you like it, subscribe and see more. We will be doing more clues in the future, of course, and we'll be opening the sealed master clue at the start of the next video. See if we can we'll give it a go. But you know, more than likely we'll just drop it because we won't be able to do it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like if you like it, subscribe and see more. I've been Mr. Adelaide S. I'm not sure how long this video is. I reckon it's probably like 50 minutes. Hopefully it's not that long. Love you guys. Bye bye.